In this video, we're going to be revealing the truth about actually getting back together with your ex. Stay tuned. All right, so I've been helping people getting back together with their ex since 2009, more or less. And in this process, I've been doing this for, you know, obviously over 10 years. And in this process, I have seen a lot of people go through this journey and I've seen a lot of surprising things that maybe you're not picking up from maybe some other videos that you're watching here on YouTube. Um, the first thing is that this is gonna be hard. Okay, this is actually a very difficult thing. I know that there are people out there that are promising you the world. They're saying like, hey, you know, learn this ninja text message script or something, and it'll cause your ex to come crawling back over broken shards of glass and beg you back in, you know, 24 hours or less, right? Does that stuff work? I don't, maybe for some people, but in the, in the people that I work with, it doesn't work. <laughs> the truth is, is that this is going to take a long time. The reason why is because your ex has, you know, they, they have come to some sort of conclusion that they need to break up with you and the end of the relationship with you. Chances are this isn't just a, you know, whim that they went on. This is something that has been sort of building up for a while. And um, even after they make this decision, they're not just going to turn around and get back together with you instantaneously. If they are going to do that, I would proceed very cautiously because chances are they might just end up breaking up with you again, you know, the next day or something along those lines. Uh, the truth is, is that as people go from broken up to getting back together, there's a certain journey that their ex needs to go through um, emotionally in order to trust them again, in order to trust themselves again, in order to trust the relationship again. And this trust building exercise is something that takes time. I mean, I think we all know that trust is something that takes time to build up. It can be destroyed in a moment uh, when it comes to somebody revealing that they have betrayed you or lied to you or something like that. But trust is something that does take time to build or rebuild. And the same is absolutely true when it comes to restoring a connection with your ex. If you and your ex are going to get back together and have this be for keeps, you know, the, the relationship that's going to last the, the test of time and going to be the relationship they're in potentially for the rest of your life, then they're going to have to really trust you. And trust is something that you can't just make someone do by saying something and then, you know, like, whoa, hey, you know, 10 seconds ago, I didn't trust you and now I trust you with my life. That's not a realistic expectation for you to have. Trust is something that needs to be built up over time. So many times um, it's very common for your ex to take time to actually learn to trust you. I know that you're in pain. I know that you want this to happen like yesterday, but uh, this is something that is probably gonna take some time to do, okay? Of course, every situation is unique, right? Some people can get back together reasonably quickly in a matter of maybe a couple months. Other times people take over a year. If they get back together, maybe within six to 12 months of actively doing what we advise them to do. I mean, you can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm in damage control mode. I'm gonna text you a million times a day for six months. How come we're not back together, right? You have to be doing the right things. Or, oh, hey, I'm using mind games and reverse psychology. Gee, I wonder why you don't wanna to commit to me even though I've been manipulating you for the past 12 months, right? You have to actually be doing the right things. But if you're doing the right things, within the span of six to 12 months, that wouldn't surprise me if the two of you got back together. And like I said, of course, some people can do it much quicker. Some people might take a little bit longer. Of course, there's a lot of factors in this, but uh, six to 12 months is sort of the like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. No surprise there, sort of window of time. This is gonna be hard. This is going to be difficult. This is going to be challenging. Uh, many times we have this belief that getting back together is just gonna be this nice, steady, linear progress of, okay, yeah, we have a good interaction, cool, nice, let's get together again. Okay, yeah, we're getting closer, we're bonding a little bit more, awesome, okay, this is going excellent, oh, look at that, we're, we're getting physical, oh, we're, we're getting intimate, we're talking about things, oh, cool, now we're talking about getting back together, okay, great, we're back together, right? It, it doesn't usually happen that way. Really, realistically, there are gonna be lots of ups and downs along the way. You know, we think it's gonna be a nice straight line, uh, really it's just sort of this like bizarre twisting roller coaster. There are gonna be times when it seems like everything's falling apart. 
There are going to be times when you have a great interaction and it seems like you're riding on top of the world. And there are going to be times when all of these things take a sharp turn and suddenly you realize the floor just fell up beneath you. Oh my goodness, um, we were connecting so well. And now I find out you're in a rebound relationship. Or oh my goodness, I thought we were done for good. And then uh, suddenly I got one of these you know, phone calls in the middle of the night that's like, hey, I miss you. I just can't sleep at all. I just wanted to tell you how much uh, I've been hurting since we've been apart or something like that, right? So just know that this is going to be emotionally very, very difficult. This is not for the faint of heart. This is not something I would recommend you just do on a whim. If you want to actually get back together with your ex, do a gut check and say, hey, is this person worth going to bat for? Is this relationship worth going to bat for? You know, not just because oh, we were together and I'm in some sort of breakup and now I'm feeling some sort of sense of loss and I just need to react in some way by trying to get back together. But like, actually look at this and say, hey, is this worth it? Is this relationship worth trying to save? Do I realistically believe that we can have this great, wonderful, happy relationship in life and all of that stuff moving forward? If so, okay, awesome, maybe it's worth it. But if you're just like, okay, yeah, you know, that was like a little summer fling, uh, we really don't have anything in common, and if I'm being honest with myself, when the going gets hard, I'm gonna give up, then okay, this might not be the most uh, useful endeavor for your time here. Um, so this is going to be difficult. So just, just know that. This is going to cause you to confront yourself and your emotions in a hugely challenging way that maybe you never have before. And because of this, it provides you a massive opportunity for um, growing and developing as a person. Um, it also uh, is going to cause you to, to question yourself. Should I give up? Should I keep going? Should I give up? Should I keep going? I just don't know if I can take this anymore. Pretty much every success story that I've worked with has gone through some form of this, okay? And if you give up when the going gets tough, obviously, you're, you're probably not gonna make it and you're probably not gonna get back together. If you know why this relationship is worth it for you and you're willing to go to bat for it, that is what can pull you through these dips, these tough times when it's like, oh my goodness, we were good, doing so great, we had this huge argument, is it over for good? Uh, oh, I found out they're in a rebound relationship. I found out they're actually getting engaged to the rebound. Um, I found out uh, whatever, right? You never know what's gonna happen. And if you are grounded in yourself, if you know why you're doing this, and if you are willing to pull through and push through these challenging moments because you know what this relationship means to you, then yeah, you can do this, okay? But it's not gonna be easy and it's probably gonna take some time. The third point here, you're gonna have to learn how to do things differently. Let's, let's be honest here, your relationship broke up for one reason or other. I, I, I could probably pinpoint why, <laughs> if you boil it all down, um, is probably due to the fact that the two of you weren't on the same team with one another, there was poor communication or you didn't trust one another. But in order to actually move things forward and to create a better relationship, you're gonna have to do things differently, which is why this is a powerful opportunity for personal growth. That's why we advocate things like the advanced relational skills, that's why we advocate things like um, you know, learning to connect better and all of that like we do inside ESP. However, I want you to be on this journey for the right reasons because this can change you in a positive way. You can get back together and have a truly amazing relationship where you're connected, a lot of the problems just aren't there, the two of you are able to stick together through the challenges in life, grow together, all of that great stuff. But it's not gonna happen if you're playing the same game that got you in, into trouble in the first place, where you don't trust one another, you're petty, you're uh, zoned out, you're, you're, you're distracting yourself with work or something else or drugs or I don't know, whatever. Um, you have to be willing to level up if you're gonna get this to work. If you think this is just a matter of overanalyzing what they're posting on Facebook or overanalyzing their rebound relationship or watching every move that they make, that's not gonna make it happen here, okay? You gotta turn the attention inward Look at the places where you feel insecure in yourself. Look at the places where you feel uncertain about yourself. Look at the places where you're checking out. Look at the places where you're emotionally unavailable. Look at all these places. Clean them up. Bring yourself to interacting with each other in a new way. And you will find that you have a completely different way of being that carries you forward into a new dynamic and a new relationship with one another. So those are some things 
that uh, you might find surprising about getting back together. I'd like to hear in the comment section what you have found most surprising about all of this. So please leave a comment down below letting me know what about this whole process of getting back together has been most uh, difficult for you, most surprising for you, most challenging for you. Um, these are some things that I've shared with you that I think are un unusual, things that most people don't think about, things that most people don't realize when they're starting, but maybe there's been something that you have experienced as well too. So please leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Anyway, thanks so much. Take care, and I'll talk to you in the next video.